everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dumped it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take a power from me. SMT Nation, let me tell you a little bit about our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the Fox. You've seen the commercials. You know what they're about. They're about great value, giving you excellent customer care, and helping you save money. I know a lot of people are really going to enjoy these savings and take advantage of these great offers. Make sure to use our partner link and really reap the benefits of this service. SMT Nation, we back. We're doing some testing here today with you all. Uh, we're going to be testing the Verizon 5G home internet. I just ordered a new version of it uh, because I wanted to test out this gateway. This is the LG, no, no, LV65, I think is the model of it. Legendary for having an external antenna. So here's the gateway. This is the um, the router portion of it. Uh, it's got a vent at the top, a fan also on the back, and then this is the antenna. And uh, this is what helps get you an improved signal which in theory, having that antenna external, being able to stick it on outside and you know improve the signal should improve like the uplink capacity potential as well. I think more specifically get you a cleaner signal. Thus, it should get you faster speeds. Uh, but I, I just bought it. I just made the purchase literally the day before. They changed all the terms of all the 5G home internet. So uh, to show you guys what we're connected to here, we've got the six gigahertz frequency here, Wi-Fi six. And uh, we are connected to the Verizon 5G home setup. And I just got it here. Uh, it's in the dining room table. Uh, this is part one of a set of videos I'm going to do just for the sake of keeping the videos kind of sort of short. Uh, I'll try to keep them all around six, seven, or eight minutes. And um, I'll test each level of the home. All right, so here we're in the dining area. And it's in the main level. And we'll see what type of throughput we get. Now, the plan calls for between 300 and and 1,000 gigabits, uh, 1,000 megabits per second, and uh, I think uplink uplink expectations are supposed to be like 40 and 80 megabits. So we'll see if we get that. You know, we're about a mile away from the site. We're testing during what I consider to be, I don't know, pretty good usage times. I don't know if it's peak or not, but you know, th there's a lot of mobile data usage around here. We got a lot of market share. So 452 down, 30 up. We got ping times in the 60s. Jitter in the 40s. Now, something I've experienced, uh, I don't ever see packet loss as indicated here by this test, but something I've noticed, if you unplug and then plug back in and reset up the gateway and everything, it takes a while for those pings to drop. I'm not sure what it is about how it connects to the network, but usually after about five, six, seven, eight tests or whatever, that, that ping time gets more consistent and stays pretty low. Uh, so that's something to monitor. If you do move it around a lot, and you're experimenting with it, you, you know, don't don't worry too much about those pings. They'll stabilize, they'll get better, they'll get lower. Once, you know, the gateway is kind of situated, you know, and the antenna is not moving and stuff like that. Uh, second test, we got 431 down, and we're in the 30s for the up. Okay, so kind of my expectation, given the distance, given the time of day, this is probably, probably the best we're going to get. All right, uh, unless you're on millimeter wave, this is what you can expect. Now, in some markets, I guess there's more, you know, bandwidth in the N77 and the C-band. My, my market's at 100 megahertz, Samsung market. We'll see if that deepens over time, but that's kind of my expectation. Another thing someone wanted me to test was fast.com. They wanted to see what the video resolution was going to be able to handle, and this is not, you know, this is not managed at all. All right, 450 megabits. The new Verizon 5G Home caps you at 1080p. Uh, the upper tier will get you the 4K, and I'm not sure how they're going to go about throttling and managing. But anyways, let's go ahead and do um, let's do an nperf test. Nperf is cool. I like testing nperf because nperf does a speed test, but they also do like a browsing test, and the browsing test goes to a handful of different websites. Uh, you guys will see it pictured here on the screen. It'll do like Zoom, Wikipedia, Google, stuff like that. Uh, so it gives it a nice little run. And then it'll run a video test, and it runs it at three different resolutions. It'll do 360p, 480p, and then also 1080p. And, and perf, if you're out there watching, I think a quad HD 1440 or a 4K test added to this would be pretty nice. Anyways, 79% score for browsing, 92 for streaming, total endpoint score of 105,000 for whatever it's worth. All right, now what we're going to do is I want to compare this to on-device data. 
because I want to see if there might be kind of somewhat of a difference there with respect to priority. What we really should be seeing, because Verizon's N77 C-band is technically on like a QCI 7 priority QoS and QCI, so that they should be pretty close to the same. The only thing that should be different is going to be just the signal quality. I think because the gateway and the antenna that comes with the LV65 should offer it some kind of a signal improvement, which should give us performance improvement. We'll see if that's the case. Uh, looking at the first test here, I see 356 down and 30 up. That's a little bit slower than what we got on the uh, Wi-Fi test with the gateway. So th that may kind of prove what this antenna can actually do for you. It can improve the signal enough to where it actually impacts your performance and throughput. Now, the new, the new terms on the Verizon 5G home internet for that home internet plus, you know, they're giving you up to 300 megabits down now. It used to be up to 1,000. So, I, like I said, I just got this the day before they changed the terms, and I'm locked in for three years, so I'm going to enjoy that while I can. Um, 291 down, 27 up here. I don't see any loss, so that's good. Um, I do have a couple other boxes in some other places. Uh, my brother's Spectrum home internet went up. We got him an internet box. That's on a two- or three-year price lock at the 300 megabits by 20 megabits uplink. So that you know that he's locked in, and then also my parents as well. So I, and if this, if this works out nicely, I think I'll move this over to my parents and return the other one, and you know that should pretty much suffice uh, for us. Two thirty on the fast.com. You guys will see that having the gateway and the antenna might be making a pretty big difference here. Let's go ahead and do the nperf test, and we'll test um, you know all the things here like the the speed throughput, and then we're gonna do the uh, the browsing the video. And we'll see how on device compares total point score and then the individualized point scores for each of the categories. Let's go ahead and um, and see how it turns out. I don't know. You guys anticipating it to be different or the same? You know, I, I don't know. Like I said, I kind of win this blind. I thought for the most part it would be the same, but I was kind of surprised to see that you know the throughput difference was pretty substantial, and actually the experience was pretty substantial too. You you guys will see. Once it's done with the browsing test and the video test, you'll see the total endpoint score, and it made a difference. Uh, now it's running 360p. Now it just wrapped up 720p. Now it's going to do the 1080, and then we can see the total point score, and you'll see it came in at about 70,000. You'll see it did not like the uplink score. Uh, the browsing came in fine. The video came in fine, both in the 80s, so I didn't have a problem. Anyways, we're going to do uh, lower-level testing. Stay tuned for that video. And also we're going to do upper level testing and then outdoor testing. I'm going to get the antenna outside. So stay tuned to the channel. We've got more content coming and coverage on this. Comment on what you think of the testing. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.